I'm Chris Wise. I play for Ace Frehley and Owl. My first gigs were in Battle of the Bands in New York when I was just a high school kid. That's where I started and, and the competition was very good for us bands. There was an underdoggy sort of attitude about the bass. I mean, there's no escaping the fundamental bottom notes that are guiding the chords, <laughs> you know. We can definitely put a spin on the sound of the band. I like the power in that and I like also knowing I'm guiding it right, not doing anything distracting. I was playing a lot of eighth note kind of driving bass lines over the years with the band The Cult. There's a way to look at that. Is that simple or do you drive it like one drum and you're responsible for the beat? And I never looked at it as like, oh, that's just something an eighth note. It is as powerful as doing the nastiest, fastest, crazy bass riff ever. It's up to you to command the energy. When you're pounding that eighth note and it's supposed to sound like a groove and it's supposed to sound sexy or mean or whatever it is, do it. Put that intent in there. Oh, I had this great custom cabinet, which was just fantastic. It was sparkly and, and wonderful. And I had some whack head, I can't remember. But it was tubes and it sounded really good. The Ampeg rig was the dream rig. That's when I finally had the Ampeg backline of a full SVT. When I had that, I felt like King Christopher. To me, it's the ultimate rig. It's like reinventing the wheel when you try other amps and stuff. There's only one Ampeg. All the other brands to me are just trying to do what Ampeg does, which get this great tube, classic, versatile sound. The only one that's got it is Ampeg. And Ampeg is the one that really always does it for me. I mean, there's no comparison.